Hey, I'm a car salesman, and this here, this is my pride and joy. Now, my pride and joy about this little kitty here is that, much to many people's concerns or queries, she's an off-roader. You might be wondering, why are we doing all this? If you stick around, you're gonna find out. Yes, hello all, welcome back to another episode of the Road to the Draft series. Back at Shark Park, we don't know how long we're gonna have left here because it's gonna get the complete renovation fixed and we'll be ending up at the Wacker soon, so could be my last chance to get a win here. Obviously started my Shark Park career with a win here, so I've picked someone specially out that I thought, yeah, I can get a win against today. He's a big, bustling, bodied, balanced midfielder, dash gracious half back, Jack Cleaver from East Romandle. Jack, get in here. Oh, hey! Jackie, how you hey, going, mate? Jack, how you going, mate? <laughs> <laughs> here he is, Jackie, what help? Hey, how you going, how you going mate? mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Uh, good to see you, obviously. Big episode today out here in Shark Park. You could be the last person to yeah. take on Shark Park for the year, the home deck. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good, mate. I'm feeling prepared, you know. Had a big pre-season and yep. I'm ready to have a good win today, I hope. Yep, obviously round one coming up this weekend. What are you more, are you anxious, nervous, or feeling the pressure to perform with more the game of pick or round one? Um, you know, it's pretty, they're both up there, but yep. uh, probably, probably the game of pick. Yeah, and in terms of the game of pick, how are you feeling? Ready, prepared to go? Do you think easy win or do you think you're in trouble? Uh, you know, it's a tough opponent, mate. You said you got the win here a few yeah. times, so uh, you know I've done a bit of training with uh, with Rock Hughes. He's yeah. been my skip. Uh, he's been my pig uh, coach, and uh, I think I've done pre-season. I'll be ready, mate. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, Jackie. We're after about ten minutes of trying to explain to each other. We uh, made it a, made it a bit more difficult than it has to be. Yeah. What are we doing out here for the skills drill? Uh, so basically, we got this little kicking game. Basically, if you Stand about 10, 15 metres apart, and you got to kick it to the other person. If you mark it here straight on the tip, that's three points. Up in the air or down low, that's two points. And if you have to jump to the side, that's one. And obviously, if you're too far to the right, mate, it's none. That's not going to be an issue for me. I um, only hit the cleavage, so I'll get straight into it. All right. It's probably three points. Clarify, that's the first kick of the day. I usually take about 30 to warm up. No, mate, you could have got there. You, you short armed that. I'll say one, just because I'm kind. One. That's one. Gee, oh, you're lucky I'm good at this. Six, two. All right, look, I need is a couple of threes here. That's long. That's two. That's two. Unbelievably difficult. Eight. Yeah. Look, I think it's out of hand now. I think you've got this. Oh, yes. um, I actually did calisthenics last night for the first time, so I'm just sort of feeling the whole body thing. Um, sock trick today, brought to you by Spud Shed, not Target. Um, brought out the Shark Park socks again. Um, and another thing, people like to say that I come up with a lot of excuses uh, ahead of the game of pig. Cut that out, I never make excuses, I never do anything like that. That said, on an unrelated note, I tried calisthenics for the first time last night, sort of feeling it in the full body, so if I don't perform, quite sore, probably why. Obviously, Buzz and Gilby couldn't bring it home for the back line, so you know, that's what I'm doing it for today. Full credit to the backs. Um, quick reminder, 2-0 against defenders in 2022. That's why. Um, Jack's been begging and pleading that I shared out his Hilux. Um, just want to say about the Hilux, my Holden Cruiser is absolutely chopper. Uh, the Cruiser is basically an off-roading vehicle. Hey, I'm a car salesman. And this here, this is my pride and joy. My fully customised Holden Cruise 2014 edition. This kitty purrs. Now, you might be wondering, fully customised, fully kitted out, what's he on about? Follow me, I'll show you. 
from here is an arm through the hole Me, personally, I prefer keyless cars. Fully customized keyless car. Uh, hello, what are you doing in there? Uh, now, as we get in the car, a lot of people's concerns come to the windows, you know? What if the window doesn't go up after I get it down? Don't worry about that. It doesn't even go down in the first place. Now, my pride and joy about this little kitty here is that, much to many people's concerns or queries, she's an off-roader. Sure, sometimes she struggles. Sometimes she's a little, you know, not all there. But I like to think this car and myself have one thing really in common. We're both really strong and sturdy on the outside. On the inside, we're constantly breaking down and falling apart. Uh, we'll be selling it at the end of the financial year if anyone is interested in buying it. This coat off, I want to kick. Hey, I zip chance for a clean sweep. Pressure's on a little bit. I've obviously taken a bit of a bit of a break between shoots, so um, you know, Jack's looking at me, worried, scared. The backman's curse could hit him again. Dribble King. Dribble King doesn't know when to stop. That's what it's all about. I can't lose the defenders. I'm like reverse Heath Chapman. I never lose a one-on-one, -on -one, except he beats attackers, I beat defenders. <laughs> uh, look, this is, I believe, episode 51 of Road to the Draft. And to my knowledge, um, after 51 attempts, that's the first time I've never missed a kick. Nah, it was well played on your behalf, yeah. mate. Clearly, you just hate Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look, I'm lost for words, you're lost for words. Um, look, it was tough luck, Jack. Yeah. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, round one's coming, so it's only up from here. Hopefully yeah. it's a win for the Sharks, and we'll uh, get out there and ask you a few questions. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, Jack, as much as I'd love to, we won't dwell too much on what happened out there, nah. obviously. Um, you know, put it in the past, and we'll look towards the future. Round one coming up. We spoke about it a bit out there, you know, the, the charming halfback, which is obviously why you lost defenders 0-3 this year, the ability to float inside the midfield. What would you say your role is on the footy field and how do you, what are some of the strengths you reckon you bring to that role? Um, well, I feel like I've got a good size on me, just height and weight as well, so I can quite versatile, so I can play obviously back, mid, if I need to be. So just defending first on the backman and obviously just getting it out, big body midfield in the midfield, yeah. Yep, and in terms of round one this week, obviously a, a huge game to start off. The Sharks, you know, a great team as always, but usually by this stage there's about 10 names popping up here in the state squad from East Frio. So one of the smaller sort of state promotions from East Frio, how are you feeling about round one? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I think we... I was a bit, I was a bit nervous about coming into it in the preseason, but I've seen the boys and they're, they're looking fit and ready to go. So I reckon we, we should be having a good chance this year. Yeah, and what do you think your role is going to be? Obviously, you can play both. Do you yeah. see yourself playing more midfield, more defender? What do you think your role is going to be within this shark side? Yeah, definitely a bit of both. Definitely starting down back early, and then if I need to be uh, pushed into the midfield, then yeah, making an impact there. And in terms of the year as a whole, what, what are you aiming for? What do you hope to achieve this year in terms of, I guess, areas of your game you want to improve on and just things you want to tick off throughout the year? Yeah, definitely. I need to think I need to get a bit more uh, intense at the footy sometimes when I'm coming at it. And then definitely at the end of the year, getting drafted and getting in the state team. Yep. Becoming a bit of a leader in there and uh, yeah, just having a good season. All right, Jack, it's been such a pleasure to be out here to meet you. You've been a great guest and I uh, can't wait to get you on next time. Cheers, mate.